Hey guys, it's Ozzy Reptiles here. Now today, we're going to be doing a setup for uh, out my Southern Water Skinks. Now I know it's been a long time since our last video. We're getting this one going and hopefully we should, hopefully, fingers crossed, I say this every time, but hopefully we'll be able to kick into a more scheduled, schedule, <laughs> basically. Uh, anyway, let's kick into this. So we've got some live plants. We've already got our soil in. We're going to get some live plants, set the whole up, so set the whole lot up and uh, let's kick into it. Let's go. All right, so we've put in basically some of our main essentials, a water bowl, a hide, and sort of two big elements of wood. Putting in a few little accent pieces of wood, our plants will go around our hardscape, which is our wood. Now, don't expect anything too special here. We're sort of just throwing stuff in and seeing what happens. Uh, nice. Now, that's our basic hardscape. What we'll do is start to add some of our plants in. Uh, go on, we'll do wood. Okay, that's our basic hardscape. Now what we're going to do is start to add in some of our plants, fill in some of the spaces and uh, make it look good. So let's start that. <laughs> okay, so here we have a ficus pumula ice caps. I guess that's just the variety of the ficus. So we're going to add that behind this bit of spider wood. Um, hopefully it will sort of grow over onto it and stuff like that. So we'll move away a bit of our soil. Okay. That's the ficus pumula. Now we'll add sort of our larger um, access plant. This is a, uh, a variegated uh, plant. Alrighty, so this is our next plant. I'm um, usually just called like an umbrella plant. I don't know how to pronounce the scientific name. It is variegated, um, but we're going to add that uh, between the rock and our spider wood as well, down in this gap here. All right, so now we've added this. This is going to be one of our accent plants, being that it's a bit of a larger plant. Hopefully the ficus grows in a bit more and covers the spider wood. But uh, that's that plant. And now the rest are sort of going to be more, um, I guess, foreground fillers and fillers a little bit more. But um, yes, let's move on to those now. So, okay, now we also have these two ferns, which will also now take out of the pots, remove the, uh, the cap that stops them from growing a little bit and uh, then we'll work our placement for these. So let's do that one quickly. Let's find places for these. So we're gonna do one back there behind their small little cave. Move away the soil. Build back in the soil. And we'll do one here. Two ferns in the corners and then Another one of the main fillers are Mondo grass, or Mini Mondo. So these things are very common, very cheap. They have heaps of roots, holy cows. So these will do well. I got a heap of these. Anyway, we'll pop this one at the front here. Let's get out of the way for a second. Move the soil to the side, pop a plant in, pop the soil back on. Okay, now that you've seen us put down a few of the mondo grasses, we've got a couple. <laughs> now that you've seen us put down a few of the mondo grasses, I've got a couple more that I might put in some places, but um, that's going to be basically the main things for here. We've also got an air plant which we're going to glue with um, an animal safe glue onto probably this high perch up here on the wood. Um, so let's do that one now. Okay, so this is a uh, Tillandsia. Well, that was a Tillandsia. I'm probably butchering the name. Okay, so here it is. This is an air plant. So basically it doesn't grow in soil or anything like that. It literally just grows how it is. And we're gonna glue it. Maybe, uh, I'm kind of thinking here. What do you think? Yeah. Well, we'll glue it to there. And then it basically, I mean, it just survives. It needs a light misting um, every now and again. They don't do well with too much water. Uh, okay, here we've had, yep, yep, okay. Aquarium safe glue, animal safe glue, glues really fast, dries really fast, I should say. Um, ignore the dogs. That is goofed. That's goofed now. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. There's that. Grab our plants. Hmm, let's pop it this way. Right there. In the glue. And that's essentially that. That will, uh, Stay there, that will continue to survive. Uh, as I said, just for the light mist. Now, again, yeah, we'll fill in some more bits and bobs and places between the wood and stuff with our Mondo grass, and then we will uh, pick up again from there. See you in a bit.
Okay guys, so here we have the finished project. We've got our live plants in. We've got, we added some leaf litter and some moss elements as well, sort of to just break up the hardscape, the plants and sort of the soil substrate. So we've got their water bowl. They've got a hide back there. Obviously they can hide under the leaf litter, under the logs and all of that as well. So that is that. And uh, we'll go get the inhabitants and uh, add them to the tank. Alrighty, so here's one of them. Here's the first one that's getting added in. There you go, there he runs off. Okay, so we've got three more to add. So you have a colony of four, and uh, we'll add the other ones now, and then we'll get some uh, B-roll shots of them in the tank, exploring the new tank. Alrighty guys, so that's going to bring this video to an end. You're going to get the lights featured up, get it all ready. As you can see, they're already in there exploring around a little bit. So this is their new tank. Um, hopefully, eventually, they'll have an outdoor setup. Um, they can do fine outdoor here in, in Victoria. So hopefully, um, once weather starts to warm back up again, we can make a sort of skink-proof uh, outdoor enclosure for these guys too, which will be really good. But anyway, that's their setup. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys will uh, enjoy this video. If you did, Leave it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.